So I'm in a cornfield today around our Canem, Ohio. Today is August 10th. I'm evaluating how our nitrogen practices or our plant's ability to get nitrogen from the soil is impacting overall plant health and the plant's ability to photosynthesize clear through that, that green fill or that reproductive process. So as I look down the row, as you can see, this corn is good and green, lush in color, looks to be very healthy. You don't see much nitrogen deficiency at the lower portion of the plant. Even from a disease standpoint, uh, yes, there is some some gray leaf spot lesions, those rectangular lesions. But overall, most of the disease has concentrated to that ear leaf and below. Not for me overly concerning, but I wanna show you how the lack of nitrogen or where we get into nit more nitrogen deficient areas or fields can impact that plant's ability to hold off leaf diseases, particularly northern corn leaf blight. This corn was planted in uh, early May. And as you can see, as I focus in on this ear, it's about R3 transitioning to R4. So kind of that milk stage to dough stage, not likely a candidate or, or a, a time frame in which we could apply a fungicide and likely produce a, a solid return on investment. But we can still learn and we can still look at, okay, are there fields that we need to set a priority uh, because they may need to be harvested a little earlier. So I'm within the same row, but I'm working to a slightly wetter area. And as I get down, you can see there's a little more nitrogen firing on those lower leaves as I look down the road this direction. You can see more nitrogen deficiency as I look down the row. And as I move up into the canopy, you can see how that lack of nitrogen is actually impacting the disease of northern corn leaf blight. So this big lesion right here at my thumb, that is one northern corn leaf blight lesion. And as you can see, relative to gray leaf spot right here at my thumb, that northern corn leaf blight lesion poses a significant threat for that plant to continue to photosynthesize at a high level. When nitrogen becomes limiting, so some of those droughtier fields, some of those sandier fields, uh, fields that lack moisture because most of our nitrogen gets in the plant with moisture, when nitrogen becomes limiting, northern corn leaf blight will be a lot more invasive. As I work my way down the row, it's unfortunately not hard to find the northern corn leaf blight lesions, as you can see. I work up here, you can see there's lesions clear up into the, about the, oh, a couple leaves above the ear leaf, not at the top of the plant yet. But what I really want to illustrate is now's the time to look at uh, those fields in particular that you know you struggle to get the nitrogen you applied actually mobilize into the plant, or maybe they were wetter fields that you feel like you lost a fair amount of nitrogen. Because while this field is, is not likely a good candidate to apply a fungicide this late, it can teach us uh, and help us to prioritize those fields that we may need to think about harvesting a little earlier. Because northern corn leaf blight, while it occupies, one lesion can occupy a much higher percentage of the leaf versus a uh, gray leaf spot, it also can, can multiply much, much, much quicker than gray leaf spot. It can go from spore to spore three times faster than gray leaf spot. So about every seven to 10 days, it has the capability if the conditions are right for the infection and it is much, much more invasive if nitrogen, nitrogen is a limiting factor. So now's the time to look at these fields, especially those fields that you're concerned from a nitrogen standpoint and, and that mobility to maybe set a priority, uh, or excuse me, set a harvest schedule and look at those fields as being a higher priority to harvest early so that sustainability is not impacted.